Okay, this is my first impression. Jackson tacos. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty tasty. So this is Cammy, right? First impression. So it's pretty tasty. Okay. Right. Hello, my name is Elijah Blau and I've been a vegan for over 10 years. In 2016, the Veggie Outers was formed to help more people consume more plant-based foods and get access to education and resources. We've since evolved into reviewing the restaurants that we pay a visit, based on the price, the atmosphere, customer service, and the food. We don't forget to have some fun in the process though. Join us in yet another review where we go to a restaurant and give the food a try. On a scale of one to 10, I give the food a 10 because uh, to me, portions weigh more than taste. I definitely love the texture of the patty. I would give the overall uh, score of an uh, eight. Can y'all smile for the camera? Just a little smile? <laughs> All right. I probably would give eight. I'm gonna give it a solid eight. It was very good. I, I don't rate high lots of things, so I would just say eight. Um, but I think that's what you would expect from a counter service place. I mean, yeah. What's up, Veggie Outers? This is Elijah, and we're going to be reviewing the Mariachi's Dine In in Fort Worth, giving them a review on their atmosphere, price, customer service, and food. So, let's get into it. So, Marla, uh, what did you get on the menu today? Um, hello. <clears throat> it's great to be here at Mariachi's tonight. Um, thank you so much, Elijah, for organizing this. We really appreciate you always. Thanks. Um, so for my order this evening, I got the jackfruit uh, bira, bira quesadilla. And um, it was a flour quesadilla that I switched out to corn tortillas because I'm uh, gluten intolerant. And um, this particular plate was... Uh, fantastic it was great it was a great choice um, the right uh, it came with some kind of um, uh, like sauce dip which was great it has cilantro and onions in it um, great meal uh, great price uh, so what would you give the food on a scale of 1 to 10 so for this particular plate um, I would definitely do a 10 I will absolutely get this again um, we did get the uh, triple dipper and that is um, seasoned nacho chips, uh, guacamole, um, the salsa, and the uh, cashew queso. Um, the salsa here is fantastic. The guacamole is great. It's pretty standard. Um, the cashew queso, I would uh, definitely pass on. That, that was not my favorite. But everything else has been great. I even had a margarita. It was really awesome. So, what's your name? Dana. And are you a vegan? Yes. Okay. Uh, what did you get on the menu? Um, I got the uh, veggie quesadillas. Okay. Now, what would your taste buds rate that on a scale of 1 to 10? 9. A 9. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get a quick zoom in for that shirt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, here. here. <laughs> All right, got it, got it. So, uh, what's your name? Uh, my name's Steven. Okay. And uh, are you vegan? I am not. Uh, what would you give your food on a scale of one to ten? Uh, the food here, I got the. I actually got two plates. If that get, answers your question a little bit, <laughs> I got. I, I actually got the mariachi al pastor tacos and the uh, vegan al pastor quesadilla, and both are ten out of ten in my book. I, I love these things. This is what I. This the, those two things are why I come here. Uh, two plates speak for itself, right? Yeah. <laughs> so Daisy, uh, what'd you get on the menu today? So I got the mariachi tacos with some roasted vegetables. And how'd that stroke your taste buds? It was really good. I enjoyed it. It was a little bit too. It, it was a little bit salty, 
but I, I enjoyed, I ate the whole plate. It was good. Okay. Uh, what would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? So I would rate it a 9 because of the saltiness, um, but that, that's also because I don't use as much salt as home at home, so that could also be different for somebody else's taste buds, but otherwise it was, it was really tasty. Uh, what's your name? My name is Kagan. And uh, what did you get on the menu? I got the um, jackfruit uh, tacos. They're street tacos. Okay. And uh, are you vegan? I am. So what would you rate the food on a scale of 1 to 10? I would rate it probably like an 8 or 9. Uh, so like an 8.5? Yeah. Half in the middle? Yeah. Okay, 8.5. So what's your name? My name is Nathan. All right. And Nathan, are you a vegan? I am. I've been vegan for seven years. So what does your taste buds rate this food on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, I'd probably give it a 9. Yeah, I, I really like the queso. Like that, that for me is kind of how I measure all um, vegan restaurants whenever I go. I always want to make sure I get some queso just to kind of, that way I can measure it. So they do a great job here. Uh, Monica, uh, what did you get on the menu? Uh, nachos with uh, jackfruit. Okay. How did your taste buds break the nachos? Uh, 10. <laughs> well, they were that's excellent. A pretty, that's a pretty quick answer. Okay. And there were there was so many. I should have split it with somebody else. <laughs> so, yeah, what did you get on the menu today? I got the uh, quesadilla with um, the uh, hickory chicken protein inside, and um, and I also ordered a dessert which hasn't come yet. The uh, dessert nachos. Um, but yeah, I've eaten the, I've eaten the other. I've eaten the quesadilla. Okay. And uh, what would you give that on a scale of 1 to 10? I have to give it, I know I'm one of the easy going ones, but I have to give it a 10. I couldn't find anything I didn't like about it. It wasn't too spicy. Even the pico de gallo wasn't real, wasn't spicy. It came with um, sour cream and guacamole and it was just really good. I mean, I could definitely get it again. Okay, man. So, uh, what would you get on the menu? I got the uh, the gano bowl with the chicken. And uh, what would you give that on a scale of one to ten? I would give that a ten. It was it was delicious. Uh, it had the the pickled cabbage, which is something you don't normally see on Tex-Mex kind of things. That was wonderful. Just took it up a notch. So, uh, what's your name, bro? Obadiah. Okay. And uh, are you vegan? No, not fully vegan. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what you get on the menu? Um, I got some burrito, a burrito with, um, it had pineapples. Okay. Yeah. And what would you rate, what would your taste buds rate that on a scale of 1 to 10? On a 1 to 10, I'd give it a 7 and a half. So, uh, what's your name? Tiffany. Okay. And, uh, are you vegan, Tiffany? Um, I've... I just say flexitarian. I eat mostly vegan, but sometimes if I want something else, I'll eat something else. <laughs> okay. Uh, what did you get on the menu? I got the Texican nachos. Okay. What is your taste buds rate there on a scale of one to ten? I would say a ten. It was it was delicious. It had a little kick to it, a uh, spice. Um, the crumbles or the protein made me feel like I was pretty much had eating beef, but it was very flavorful. So, uh, what did you get on the menu? Uh, I ordered the pineapple burrito. Uh, I think that's what it was called. Okay. And uh, what did your taste buds rate that on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, it was pretty good. I would say comparing it to like a, a real burrito, right? Because I'm not, I, I would have to, from my perspective as a non-vegan, uh, it was really close to like actual Mexican restaurant burritos. So the, the protein that I had was chorizo or vegan chorizo. And I was really surprised how close it was to actual chorizo. Um, overall, I would say I would give it an eight. 
there. Yeah. This is and pretty good. I, I, I do want to say one other thing is that uh, they also have hot sauces, right? Which is typical of most Mexican restaurants. But these are surprisingly hot. So you don't get that <laughs> at most restaurants. And uh, this one specifically, it has a really like a uh, complex flavor it's very similar to mexican mole and i've never seen that in a bottle because mexican mole takes a long time to make and it has a lot of ingredients so it's really weird to put it in a bottle usually it's served as like your main dish right but here it's like a, a hot sauce it's really good so yeah I, I would say the most surprising part from the restaurant were the sauces <laughs> like on top of the food but yeah, just an extra plus. Okay. And what would you rate the atmosphere in this place? A scale of one to ten. Um, I mean, it's really festive because of the veggie outings. So I'm going to say a ten. And uh, what would you rate the atmosphere in this place? A scale. Really good. We really like it here. <laughs> uh, like a ten, I guess. Yeah. Okay. And yep. what would you give the atmosphere of this place on a scale of 1 to 10? 9. Okay. It's not playing heavy metal, so <laughs> unreasonable, but I'll say it. So the atmosphere, um, I'd rate it a 9, you know. Um, I, I, <laughs> I'm not really a fan of the... Uh, the art, but it was like a good, you know, ambience to, you know, meet people and talk. So I didn't really notice it. Okay. Yeah, I would say definitely like a, a nine or ten for sure. So a nine point five. Well, Tex-Mex is my favorite, and so I will probably give them a seven, seven point five. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's it's okay. Um, I mean, I've been enjoying the company and the food so much, I haven't really noticed, but probably just an eight. Okay. I think it's good. Um, I'll say a nine, uh, just because, I mean, I'm, it's, it's kind of like, it's, it's kind of vibrant, it's, uh, it's kind of, kind of a, got a diner feel to it, it's got interesting stuff on the walls. Um, when it gets this crowd, when it gets this crowded, it gets a little noisy. But we were saying that the uh, music isn't too loud. So, but yeah, it's it's kind of nice. And it's not fancy, but I like it. Um, I'll give it a nine. It's it's a it's a nice place. It's got. I mean, it's got this little like alcove area that we're in, and then a long like diner type area. So, I, I, it, it's a, got a nice atmosphere. The atmosphere was good. I'll give it. I'll give it an eight on atmosphere. I'd say it's about a nine. It seems a little quaint, which is fine. Um, I like the bar area. It was set aside. It's kind of like an L shape, um, but I think. The atmosphere is pretty good. The atmosphere is good. Uh, it's not not super loud. Uh, it's like not super dark. So it's, uh, I would say everything is pretty good. So I'd rate it a, a nine. What's up, veggie outers? I take it you're enjoying the review or content you're watching right now. But a frequent question I always get is, Elijah, where can I get some Veggie Addis merch? Because I see you rocking it all the time and I want some of my own. I'm glad to say that you can actually get the merch on our website. Just go to www.theveggieaddis.com, click on products and click on merch. There you'll see a variety of shirts, hoodies and tank tops that you can pick from. And we have two different designs on our merch that you can pick from. So if you want to help move the notion forward of convincing people that it's legal to be plant-based in all 50 states of America, go to www.thevetiatus.com and get your merch today. Now, back to the video. <laughs> okay. And uh, how about the customer service? How do you feel like they took care of us? Amazing. Very uh, attentive. Um, got every order correct as far as I could tell. All of our orders were right on this side of the table. So um, really sweet, uh, nice staff. So I will be glad to come here again. Okay. So that's a 10? Yes, sir. Okay.
We love the customer service. We really love the owner here. She's really awesome, and I think I'd give that a 10 also. Okay. <laughs> and uh, what would you rate the customer service here? Uh, 10. <laughs> Definitely 10. And how about the customer service? Um, customer service was a 10. As soon as I came, I came, a, you know, a couple of hours late. <laughs> She took my order immediately, I went there, I paid for it, and my food was out in about 15 minutes, so I'd give it a 10. Okay. And uh, how about that customer service? Oh, 10 for sure. You didn't have to think about it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> They're great. They, they, they do a really good job of being attentive. Um, so, you know, I'd give them a, a 9 or a 10 for customer service. They do a great job. So, meeting halfway, 9.5? Yeah. Uh, maybe a seven, it's not bad, but nobody's come to check on us, but I don't have a complaint about it, it's just not like brilliant. But overall, I, I, I really enjoy it. Oh, they, they've been great. Um, I'll, say a, I'll say a nine also. They've been good. Okay. What's up everyone? So, want to mention something real quick. So, in Gail's review, she did order some dessert and you saw that it was on the way. But when it got there, it was actually missing a key ingredient, that being um, some berries. So, um, she tried to get the restaurant's attention and eventually she did. And it took a while to get that kind of sorted out. But she did want to make a change to her customer service rating because since it came without the berries and it took a while to get sorted out, um, she kind of felt that it really should have been more of a priority so she did decide to take a point off which is why you see that the score that's on the screen doesn't reflect what she said because this happened after i did the video review with that being said let's get back to the video i'll probably give that a nine too i mean it's a it's a walk up to the counter and order it's not order at the table so and you know when they brought out the food since they didn't come out here and give it they just had to you know say who ordered this but yeah i'll give them a nine the customer service was decent. I give it maybe a six or a seven. Um, the owner, and as they took our order, she's very pleasant and everything. But it was interesting to have to go up to the front to put your orders in versus them taking the orders at the table. Um, that was a little different, and they were a little slow on drinks at the bar. But overall, still very friendly and 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 pretty good. Okay. So we'll say 6.5. 6.5. Yeah, okay. uh, the customer service, was, I would say a 10 because I have food allergies. Um, the person up front that took my order, she made sure that she recorded everything to, you know, make sure that I had my, my food was safe to eat. Uh, they've been doing really well. Uh, I was really surprised how many people were here. And uh, I think they, they brought out everybody's food like in different sections. So uh, that kind of made sense because there was a lot of people to make food for at the same time. Um, the entire time that like the staff has been running back and forth, making sure like people have their food ready and then like uh, chips and different things like that. Uh, they also added tables without us having to ask. Like as more people were showing up, we just had like, more tables get added automatically. So that was really surprising. Uh, the customer service, I would say, is like the best part. I'd say it's a 10. And uh, how about the price on a scale of one to 10? Price is great, man. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's budget friendly for sure. Okay, so the price is 10? Yes, definitely. I think I'm going to go nine on that one too because, you know, it would be nice to have a really inexpensive place to go, but also it's really good. <laughs> and uh, how about the price on a scale of one to ten? What would you give it? Uh, it's pretty good. I can do a ten. The price, I'd give it a, you know, nine. It's, it's, um, it's vegan food, so, <laughs> and it's fresh, and so I, I'd, I'd give it a nine for the price. And uh, how about the price? Would a 10 been like the price was excellent and a 1 like, hey, what are they doing? Okay, yeah, I would say like um, probably a 9. And uh, how about that price? On a scale of 1 to 10, what's the rate? Free is my favorite price, and so uh, that's hard to match. But uh, no, I, I, think, I think it's very competitive. Uh, I eat over at like Spiral Diner and 
I ate there yesterday, and I would say pricing wise, this this was this was better than than over there for what I ordered. So no, not to compare it and drop names and talk bad about other places because Spiral is my favorite. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, g great price. Okay. So well, what number wise would that be? Like a nine or ten or eight? Yeah, I'll go with an eight. How about an eight? I would say a nine. Especially, maybe even a 10, but for the amount of food you get and the price, uh, actually I'll go for a 10. It, it was really good value. Yeah. Well, the price, um, the meals are about what you'd expect, I guess, for nowadays. And, and they're not even outrageous for vegan food, really. A quesadilla for about $12 is normal. Um, the dessert I ordered is really expensive. It's like ordering another meal, so I don't know what it's gonna look like when it gets here, but but um but yeah, other than I mean I'd say I guess a, I guess an eight, um and that's only because I kinda wish the dessert weren't quite that high. There's two desserts, one of them isn't that high, but it's just plain ice cream. So I got the dessert quesadillas and it was like it was literally like buying another meal, so I'll say eight. And uh, how about that price? Uh, I'll st stick with a nine on that too. It's a, a good value, good value for what you paid. I might give them a ten on price for for the amount of food I had and the the way it was feeling. Um, and based on the price, I give it a ten on price. I would say a nine. Um, I had a lot of food for the price. Uh, I think I paid like twenty dollars total. So I got the burrito and then just a Mexican Coke. Um, the burrito was really filling, so it was not like some of the other restaurants that we've had, uh, where the portions were like super small. This one was pretty big. So overall, I would say that's a it's a pretty good value. I mean, everything is kind of more expensive than it was a few years ago, but value-wise, I would say this is like a, like a nine. Okay. Yeah. What did you think about the food? How was great? Well, I got the jackfruit tacos, and as far as the food goes, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a ten, cause they combined jackfruit with vegan cheese, and they had this special dipping sauce. I've never had it before, like in that combination. I've had those things individually, but put together, it's pretty tasty. So I'm gonna give it a 10. As far as the atmosphere, it's they got some interesting stuff on the walls. I took footage, so y'all y'all seeing it right now. It's kind of like the skull and bones kind of theme. Not really my flavor, but I'll still acknowledge the fact that it is artistic. So I'm gonna give it an eight. As far as the customer service. Uh, some people might be taken back by me saying it, but I'm going to give it a full 10 because uh, like David said before, the tables, more people kept coming and they just automatically added tables. We didn't even have to ask them for it. They're very attentive. They brought the food out in a pretty timely manner. And when people ask like, hey, uh, what's the most popular dish like vegan wise? They gave us suggestions. So very accommodating, very nice. They get a full 10. As far as the price goes, I'm going to give them, I'm actually going to give them a 10 too. I think it was economical based on what you got, but the jackfruit tacos, like other places, jackfruit isn't a filling food, and they'll give you like three little small tacos. They actually gave a fourth one. So if a fourth taco is included in the dish, but it costs the same, to me that gives them an extra point to go ahead and boot them up to being a 10. But that's been my review. Um, be sure to stay tuned for our next review, and you can go to www.theveggieotters.com and see what's next for the group. I'll catch you in the next video, and y'all take it easy.